Hello my friends, hello my friends. I have a, a very funny video indeed. A video with uh, someone uh, from Texas, uh, nobody, a sheriff, that uh, he wants uh, to open an investigation into Ron DeSantis. <laughs> For reasons only he knows. Please uh, take a look at this video and we're gonna see each other after for some final uh, laughter, uh, I mean comments. <laughs> We are opening up a case uh, with an investigation with regard to the suspected uh, activities involving the 48 migrants from Venezuela that, as we understand it at this point, the facts of the case at this point, are that on uh, Wednesday, September 14th, uh, here in Bear County in the city of San Antonio, uh, our understanding is that a Venezuelan migrant uh, was paid a, a, what we would call a bird dog fee to recruit approximately 50 migrants from the area around a migrant resource center on San Pedro uh, here in San Antonio. Uh, as we understand it, 48 migrants were uh, lured, I, I will use the word lured, uh, under false pretenses uh, on, into, into staying at a hotel for a couple of days. Uh, they were taken by airplane. At a certain point, they were shuttled to an airplane uh, where they were flown to Florida and then eventually flown to Martha's Vineyard, again, under false pretenses is the, the information that we have, that they were promised work, they were promised the solution to several other problems. They were taken to uh, Martha's Vineyard from what, from what we can gather uh, for nothing, for little more than a photo op, video op, and then they were unceremoniously stranded in Martha's Vineyard. Um, Yes, my friends, that was the video, and now some serious comment. Now, uh, who these uh, activists, sheriffs, uh, these hacks think they are? Javier here, and uh, this name speaks tons about who he is. I've seen some uh, laughable comments on Twitter about him that he's an American hero. He's not an American hero, he is a Democrat Party operative hack. In his county, there are lots of illegal activities happening, but he doesn't have time for illegalities because he, he is a partisan to his Democrat Party masters. These Democrat Party masters, they, they do not care about all this uh, disaster that happens at border. Their own people are suffering. All they care about is political influence. He has the guts to say that he opens an investigation into Ron DeSantis for him sending immigrants into Martin's Vineyard. Does he have the power to do this? Does he have the jurisdiction to do this? Does he even have the relevance to do this? Who is he? He is just a pitiful, pathetic hack, a sheriff, a little sheriff from a, a village town. He's nobody, but in his own head, he thinks he is somebody. Well, uh, it's going to have a rude awakening. Or maybe he's doing this just uh, for a publicity stunt to uh, increase uh, his name. All this, this is real, real game with uh, the life of uh, the immigrants. Those immigrants that are sent where <laughs> in the Republican enclave just to destroy the political uh, balance because they think somehow that this Venezuelan they are uh, Democrat Party voters but if you go deeper you will realize one thing Venezuelan, Cubans, even Mexicans they don't really like Democrat Party what is it to like to a uh, Democrat Party? they are godless, they are against uh, everything that uh, uh, Christian stands for and Venezuelans as well they are Catholics and Catholics. They do not, again, they do not like the politics of uh, this uh, satanic Democrat Party. I, I can uh, say it without uh, fear that I am wrong. Democrat Party used to be American, used to be a party of decent people way before. But uh, today it morphed into some uh, ugly, fanatic, far-left, uh, demented group. 
and uh, it's sad really there are as well loads and lots of um, decent people in the midst of them but uh, they still somehow are entangled in this uh, ugly system that uh, their party their party affiliation represents let's just pray for them that they will, will wake up all those that are sincere already either they became independent either they just let go of politics all together either some they went to the right side but uh, for me i do not think uh, as a matter of fact republican or democrat uh, points of view all i care about is uh, christian values all i care about is um, jesus first if uh, america will understand this that uh, jesus has to be brought back invited again in uh, american schools invited again uh, in public institutions movies uh, they should come back uh, what they used to do before uh, not so much cursing not uh, so much uh, debauchery presented uh, all this uh, pollution of the minds of young people this is means this means and this is godless society this is my comment on this and again to this clown uh, uh, it has no chance to prosecute anyone <laughs> but uh, it's good for the laughter and uh, as well a little bit of sadness because people like this really exist and uh, what's worse there are those that really believe what this uh, character here <laughs> he is a character from clown world um, but uh, no hatred let's just pray for him uh, he is deluded and uh, hopefully if we really care about all these people, including this sheriff, let's pray for them. And if we care for them, we will pray up to something will change in their life. Remember that God doesn't want death of no sinner. But on the contrary, what God wants is everybody to come to repentance. God bless you, my friends. This is my raw comment on the, this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget, it's so important to subscribe. Love you all. See you very soon.